Hello again, everyone. I am back again with another yarn dyeing video. And I'm going to do the same thing that I did with cotton yarn in my previous video. I will be doing to acrylic. Just got the idea this morning. So these have only been soaking about four and a half hours. Um, yeah, four and a half hours, slightly over, but yeah, not overnight. I'm not sure if that matters, but, um, I'm going to make this a short video, pretty much going to cut to the chase, um, unless something really interesting comes up, like how the basic dye turned brownish purple <laughs> in, um, in the, uh, soda ash, unless something like that happens. Yeah, but we're doing the same thing, just like I did with the other video. These have been soaking in salt water. These have been soaking in vinegar and water. And these have been soaking in soda ash. And I will do the same thing I did with the uh, cotton. They will, I'll put just a little bit of water, a little bit of dye. I'm not gonna measure, that's, that's a variable. Um, actually, it would probably be considered a lot of dye because just a little bit of water it's still going to be highly concentrated so doing the same thing it will go in the microwave 50 percent power for one minute four times just like i did with the other and uh like i said unless something interesting happens we will cut to the chase and see how this turns out of course i did forget to mention that this is red heart with love yarn and um, I also want to mention, you know, as in previous experiments with acrylic yarn, it can melt, but generally when it's submerged, it does not melt. And all of these yarns are submerged. So that could also make an impact on the final result. I just want to make note of something. I have already done the salt and the vinegar. They are drying. And I'm not seeing a whole lot of difference other than from the, the basic dye, which are these two right here. But I want to make note that I will continue more options for the acrylic yarn. Um, like, for example, I do like the way the fiber reactive is getting this um, teal color here. So I'm wondering what the other colors will do. And also, I am curious if temperature makes any difference because this first batch, I um, I probably actually, this one here made like a popping sound. This is the first time I've ever heard that. And I see that there's little speckles in there. Probably nothing. Um, slightly, but not flat or rough. So that, I will be doing more experiments with acrylic. And I would also like to take note that different yarns dye differently. This is Red Heart with Love and I have found I have better results with Hobby Lobby. I love this yarn. So what I will do is I will take my top couple favorites or top favorite uh, result and experiment more with that based on colors and temperatures. This is the second heating of the uh, basic dye with soda ash and again basic dye and soda ash do not like each other we have like a greenish yeah it's kind of it looks like a sorry it looks like a green dark 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 green like algae <laughs> so yeah they they don't agree with each other so i almost forgot about this video but i wanted to show you guys the final result um, this is like a week and a half later, but that's okay. It's all real time for you. Um, but I wanted to show you um, the results that I got from the acrylic with the, uh, the salt, the vinegar, and the soda ash. Um, as expected, the soda ash with the basic is a no-no. Basic is normally the, the type of dye you would use for acrylic. But if you soak it in soda ash, 
they do not go well together. Um, so let's take a look at the soda ash only. And uh, I'm sorry, I've got these all mixed up. This is the Red Dye More. This is the basic. This one is probably acid. And they're stuck together. Yeah, this one is acid. I got the least color. Acid and acrylic does not go together. In fact, all three of them pretty much the same color. Um, let's see. This one is just the plain red. And this is um, fiber reactive, which I am tempted to try fiber reactive again because I have so many colors for um, my cotton and bamboo for my uh, cellulose fibers. So I'm tempted to try more fiber reactive on acrylic because even though it is not as blue as it should be, there's a nice shade of blue. And I'm thinking if I use something really dark, I can still get some decent color, perhaps. Perhaps, I'll consider that as a future experiment. And the vinegar ones, this is the go-to for me, vinegar with basic dyes. And this is most likely exactly what that was supposed to look like. Um, this one here is the Red Dye More. It's more like a purple. This one is just the regular red, baby blue, not what we're looking for. Again, like I said, this is the acid dye. It does not work for acrylic. And, um, the fiber reactive. Now look how brilliant that is compared to, I mean, they're both fiber reactive, but this is a soda ash, but that is really, really pretty. I like that. So, um, vinegar and fiber reactive, future project, perhaps. <laughs> and here's my salt soaps. This one is the fiber reactive. Once again, it does pretty good with salt because salt is a fixative or soda ash, it's a fixative for fiber reactive. But however, the soda ash did not do so well for acrylic with fiber reactive. But it did pretty good with salt. And I have found that salt seems to do better with fiber reactive anyways than soda ash. That's what I say for now. Lots of experiments to come. Acid dye, once again, baby, baby blue. Very, very light. And Red Dye More. Not bad. That was the one that had those little spots in it. Um, this one is... Uh, sorry. Regular Red. Eh. Come over here. This is the Regular Red. And, of course, the Basic. Basic does well, apparently, in both salt and in vinegar, but slightly better in vinegar because it's almost a purple in salt. And that concludes my experiment for now. And I hope you guys enjoy. Be watching for another future video. And um, be sure to check out my Etsy shop. Down below is the link. I got lots of hand dyed yarns, acrylic, bamboo, cotton, and of course, superwash merino, regular wool. Just go check it out and have a wonderful rest of your day wherever you are. Bye-bye. God bless.